Ares process mining tool was used to analyze the record to report process using extracts from SAP. This covered a 12 month period and the analysis focused on cycle time and compliance. Utilizing the BPM capabilities in the Ares portal, an expected end to end process diagram for record to report was created. Once the data is uploaded into the tool, it shows us the actual pathway taken by the process. Using the connection scale, we can see what is actually happening in the organization and not just the happy path scenario. The true flow helps us identify variation within the process. The first business question we answer in our analysis is whether there are any bottlenecks in the general ledger management process. The KPIs covered in this business question are average cycle time from create to park journal, Park to post journal and create to post journal, as well as total number of journal entries. There was 201,000 journal entries posted for the time period of the analysis. On average, it took 12 days from park to post journal and one day from creation to posting of journal. Journals were parked 13 days in advance of creation. Granular level details can be obtained by analyzing the bar graphs which show the average cycle time by journal type allowing us to identify areas of improvement. Second business question we answer is how to monitor and enhance the periodic reporting process. The time series chart shows us the average cycle time from creation to posting of journals over time. The final business question we are looking to answer is how do my processes behave in reality? To check the variance, we can use the variance filter in the discovery diagram, selecting the most common variance to see the process pathways and analyze the deviations from the typical linear path. Utilizing the ARIS process mining conformance checker, we can see the cases where the correct flow is not being followed. Breakdown by type such as invalid start activity and unexpected consecutive activities allows us to identify problem areas quickly. The performance checker also gives us a case-by-case -case breakdown where we can see what specifically is going wrong. The other half of the record to report end-to-end -end process is the asset side. Similar to the general ledger cases, once the data is uploaded into the tool, it shows us the actual pathway taken by the process. Using the connection scale, we can see what is happening on the ground in the organization and not just the happy path scenario. The first business question we are going to answer in the Asset R to R is how we can monitor asset accounting. The KPIs included in this are number of fixed assets acquired, disposed and transferred as well as the number of depreciation runs. This breakdown table provides us with the number of cases in each category giving us a high level overview. More granular detail can be obtained by the company breakdown graph on the right. Second business question we answered through our analysis is how the asset R to R processes behave in reality. Using the variance filter in the process discovery diagram, we can see the most common process pathways. In conclusion, the ability to add filters and apply selections allows businesses to get answers to various questions within their R to R process.